and the program a execution of the single program is distributed among the different computers that is called as distributed computing service oriented means whenever we need the service we can access the service whenever we are doing particular event or solving some particular problem we can access the resources when initially i switched to the aws now i don't want the services from the aws i want to switch to the microsoft it is not so easy hello everyone today we are going to discuss about cloud computing before that let me introduce myself myself indu j faculty of computer science department vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysore so let's come into the syllabus this is a fifth semester subject unit 1 and session 1 we are discussing first unit of fifth semester cloud computing session so what all we have in this cloud computing first introduction as an introduction how many of you know you are a cloud user are you shocked how we can be the cloud user everyone who is using the internet who is using the google is an a cloud user how we can say that everything nowadays will be stored on the cloud what is this cloud to give you the brief idea what is this cloud cloud is a servers of server okay what is cloud cloud is a server of servers we are connecting multiple servers together to form a cloud we call that architecture as in a cloud architecture let have a introduction according to the syllabus the cloud computing is a technological advancement that focuses on the way we design computing system develop applications and leverage the existing services leverage means how we can use the existing services for building the software okay it is based on the concept of dynamic provisioning what do you mean by dynamic provision providing something dynamically not statically dynamically means whenever we want for example you can take an example if you have a 1 liter of water bottle you are going for one day complete trip whether you carry a 5 liter of water with you or you just take a 1 liter of water taking 1 liter of water is nothing but dynamic provision whenever the water bottle is empty you can purchase a new one or you can fill that water bottle with the uh, water again same water bottle you are filling that so that is called whenever we are required that time we are using that resources that is called is dynamic provisioning providing a dynamic resources so which is applied not only to service but also to compute capabilities storage networking and information technology where all we are using this dynamic leveraging we are using provisioning we are using not only in the services but also in the networking computation storage and the information center and infrastructure also we are using this dynamic provisioning before cloud computing there are different computing paradigm paradigm means how the computing goes on that is called as paradigm okay different computing paradigm we have over the year different computing paradigm we have been developed used in fact different computing paradigms have exist before cloud computing let us take a look at all the computing paradigm one by one the first one is what we have is distributed computing what do you mean by distributed computing here you can see in the diagram the computer has been the process or the uh, program program has been distributed among different computers say this is one computer this is computer 2 and this is computer 3 if and the program a execution of the single program is distributed among the different computers that is called as distributed computing what we are doing we are computing only one program but with a different system so distributed computing is defined as an a type of computing where multiple computer system works on a single problem okay for example you can take an example of uh, arranging the college event right a single person cannot hold 
uh, or take care of everything. He has to take care of decoration, catering, invitation. There are many different things. So event is what? Only one that is college event. So what that time will do? They'll distribute the things. One will take care of catering, one will take care of decoration, one more will take care of uh, invitation like this. They'll distribute the complete task with the among themselves and combining together you are giving only one output that is a college event. Similarly, distributed system works. The goal of distributed computing is to increase the performance and efficiency of the system. Why we have to go for distributed computing? To increase the efficiency of the system. When we divide the big problem into number of small problems and the small problems will be computed by different computers and the result will be combined together. So the time required is less and thus it is improving the efficiency. In this diagram, each processor has its own local memory and all the processor communicating with each other over the network. How they are communicating over the network? They are communicating. It will be having its own processor and own memory. Here, the C, we have a program P that will be divided into P1, P2 and P3. So, P1 will be given to the node 1. P2 will be given to the node 2 and P3 will be given to the node 3. After this, combining all, we will get the P result. So, this is about the distributed computing. Next type of computing what we have is parallel computing. Parallel means going together, moving parallelly. That is called as parallel computer. You can take an example of any multiplex. When you go, you will be having different queues, one or two queues, right? Why they have divided that into two queues or three queues? Because the people waiting in a single queue will have a more time compared to people waiting in the different queues. That is called as parallel computing. In parallel computing, what we are doing? We are taking the problem or program program that program is subdivided into number of programs that is p1 p2 p3 p4 so on up to pn that will be subdivided and that will work on a single computer single memory parallelly both all the processor will be working parallelly together as q moves together one after the other Similarly, it also works parallelly. Parallel computing is defined as a type of computing where the multiple computer systems are used simultaneously at the same time. Here the problem is broken into the sub problems and then further broken into the instruction. These instructions from the sub problems are executed concurrently. Concurrently means together. Here in this diagram, you can see how the parallel programming system consists of the multiple processors that communicate with the each other performing the multiple tasks. What is the goal of parallel programming? The goal of parallel computing is to save time and then the provide concurrency. That I explained you with the example. When Q is going, the person at the last had to wait for longer time. If three different queues are there, the time what he is waiting will be less. That is the advantage of what we have in a parallel computing. Next type of computing what we have is cluster computing. Cluster, what you meant by cluster? Cluster is making the group of some people. For example, you can take same college event example. Uh, you have given one person in charge of taking care of catering. Can only one person do that? No. You will give some supporting hands to him. So that is called as clustering. You make some group of people to handle one particular problem. That is called as clustering. Here also the same thing we apply in the cluster computing. The cluster is a group of independent computers that works together to perform the given task. So here I have a program P that is subdivided into P1, P2, so on up to Pn. For this particular uh, computing, the P1 will be having different instruction sets. Instruction set. Like this, this complete is called as a cluster. Okay. 
cluster is what a group of individual computer to solve the particular problem that is called as cluster cluster computing is defined as a type of computing that consists of two or more independent computer referred to as a nodes here what do we call it as we call it as node okay node or we call it as cluster executing the task as a single machine this complete will work as a single machine the, what is the goal of cluster computing to increase the performance scalability and the simplicity of the system you can see here this is a root node this is a slave node these are all slave node Ro the problem is given to the root node what this root node will do root node will divide the problem into p1 p2 and p3 right it divide the problem into p3 to execute this p1 it will make one group it will make one group group 1 group 2 and group 3 okay this particular group computes on same problem is called as cluster computing fine then fourth a type of computing what we have is grid computing here what they are doing in the grid computing defined as a type of computing where it's constituted network of computer there what we are doing we are communicating with each other by dividing the problem here we are communicating with the network it may be lan man san or whatever the network we are using here that works together to perform the task that may be difficult for the single machine why we have to go for the grid computing to very large problem which is difficult to solve by the single machine to solve such kind of problems we are going to have a grid computing the task they work on is of higher computing power higher computing power and consists of large data why the single computer cannot do because it have a large data so the data will be moved on the network and that will be initiated the goal of the grid computing is to solve the more high computable problem when we are using the grid computing when we have more high computing problems that time we are using the grid computing here you can see this is a network through which the grid client and the grid servers are connected who is having the problem user having the problem user will ask that problem with the server server will then send it back to the client and that will be taken uh, that will be communicated client and server how they are communicating by using the network they are communicating next what we have is utility computing what do you mean by utility computing utility computing is defined as a type of computing where the service provider provides the needed resources and services only here what we are doing we are not simply giving everything to the single person we are giving the resources which is needed for that particular execution or that particular solving the problem and customer charges them depending on the usage of the resources how much resources we have used that much only they have to charge it's like your rented cars nowadays you have a different apps for renting the cars wherever you go you can rent the car you can self drive the car and you can give it back for they charge you only for that duration for how many days or how many hours you have rented the car it's similarly like that resources is allocated only when it is necessary the utility computing involves the renting see renting resources such as what all the computer resources hardware software memory okay processors these are all the computer resources so these are all the type of resources what we are renting out depending on the demand and requirements the goal of utility computing is to increase the usage of resource and be more cost efficient that is what about utility computing here you have a utility computing here we have the system resources so what all the system resources we are providing that on demand network is a system resource 
and also the measured services. How much we have to provide for which type of program that is called as measured services. Next what we have is edge computing. Okay, very important when we are uh, going uh, to the cloud computing, before just before cloud computing, they have paradigm called as edge computing. Edge computing is defined as a type of computing that is focused on decreasing the long distance communication between the client and server. This is done by running the fewer process in the cloud and moving these process into the user computer. What does it mean? We are using some of the computer as a cloud to provide the communication between the one end to the other end. That is long distance communication between the client and then the server. Who is a client who is requesting for something is client who is a server who has some uh, data with them and is responding back to that particular request is called as server. The goal of edge computing is to bring the computation to the network edge which is in terms build the less gap and result. That is what we are doing now, right? Today being in India, you can communicate to any part of the world that is possible using the edge computing. Next is the cloud computing. Cloud is defined as a usage of someone else servers to the host process and then the stored data. We are using someone else car and we are paying for that. That is called as resource utilization, which was a stand idle. Instead of standing idle, the car has been used by someone and that someone is paying for that usage. That is the cloud service what we have. Cloud computing is defined as a type of computing where it is delivered on demand computing services very important on demand computing services when we ask when we demand something then only we get that the type of clouds are public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud there are different types of cloud computing we'll see when we are moving further with the chapter and cloud providers who are all the cloud providers Google Cloud, AWS, Amazon Web Services, AWS stands for Microsoft Azure and IBM Clouds are some of the cloud service providers what we have. And the comparison of various computing technology, how we are comparing depending on the characteristics, what all the characteristics we are comparing, we are comparing cloud computing with the grid computing, resource handling, how the cloud computing handle the resources, centralized and distributed both it can handle provide the centralized resource distribution as well as a distributed when it comes to the grid we have only distributed resource provision or handling protocols what we are using in the clouds are tcp ip sopa rest and ajax in grid we are using the mpi mpi gis and gram these are all the protocols that has been used. Business model, yes, cloud computing is a business model, whereas grid computing is not a business model. What do you mean by business model? It is earning something. Cloud computing is having some return income. Okay, task size, when we can use a cloud computing, when the task size is small to the medium. At the both the range when uh, the problem is small or the problem is medium in both the size we can use a cloud computing but here we have a grid computing single layer what we have it can be used for very small uh, problems so service oriented architecture so how means it is a, what is service oriented architecture whether cloud is service oriented yes cloud is service oriented where comes to the grid, grid is also service oriented. Whenever we require that time only, we are providing the service. Multi-tenancy, yes, it is a multi-tenancy. Multiple users can use this. Even the grid, multiple users can use this. Then heterogeneity, yes, we have a heterogeneous combination of different codes, different processor, different memory. That is together put in called as heterogeneous. Yes, cloud is heterogeneous computing. Also, the grid is also the heterogeneous computing. Scalable, yes, scalable. Whenever we want something, at that time we ask for less. So if I feel there is a need for more resources, then also we can 
ask for more resources that is scalable whenever we want we can increase whenever we can decrease the resources that is called as scalability yes it is scalable it is half a scalable grid computing is what half a scalable switching cost when we are switching from one cloud service provider to other cloud service provider the cost is very high but here in the grid computing cost is very less to switch from one grid to the other grid value added services yes definitely it has a value added services it has a half value added services then the cloud version of the version of cloud computing what is a version of cloud computing cloud computing allows anyone with a credit card to provide the virtual hardware what is virtual hardware which is the virtuality of the physical hardware which does not present but it acts as a there is an a hardware the runtime environment it provides what runtime environment and the services these are used as long as needed how long we want we can use but we have to pay for that time with no upfront commitments required we don't want any prior knowledge of that the entire stack of computing system is transferred into the collection of utilities which can be provided and composed together deployed systems in hours rather than days for example you can take to build a simple website a simple website in previous days how long it has to take now you have a big big holding say saying that only in 4 days only in 2 days we design your website uh, that is because of cloud computing because everything is deployed on the network just we have to use those and we have to create our own website that is the thing next the version of cloud computing this approach provides the opportunity for optimizing the data centers what are the data centers data centers have all the resources which has to be shared facilities and fully utilize their capacity to serve the multiple users data centers have a number of resources that are utilized by the different users why they have utilized to improve their capability utility capability and this consolidation model will reduce the wastage of energy and carbon emission how it is reducing the wastage of energy means um, you can go for um, example what i can give instead of single person uh, going to the office using a one car we sharing that car is a resources there that is sharing the uh, car with the different four or five people we can set five people around say in the car right so that's how they are using the resources uh, that is a waste resource is not used completely we are making that resource to use completely utilizing the resource completely up to its mark assume five people taking the car and going instead of that in a single car five people are going it reduces the carbon emission similarly when we have to maintain the servers we have to have ac so we have to make the server very cool different criteria will be there. there to have the servers by that they are reducing the energy consumptions and the carbon emission that's what they are uh, saying uh, they are trying to say that is a vision of cloud computing why cloud computing has been developed this is very important vision to uh, reduce the wastage of energy and carbon emission thus contributing the green it green software solution is one of the major vision of cloud computing defining the cloud how we are defining the cloud cloud computing refers to both the application delivered as a service over the internet and the hardware and the systems software will be delivered as a service both what we are delivering we are delivering application we are delivering the hardware we are delivering the software in the data centers what is data center data center is nothing but the collection of the resources apart from that definition you have one more definition for the cloud that is cloud computing is a model of enabling the ubiquitous convenient on demand network access to the shared pool of configurable computing resources is one and the same we are using the shared resources to have a configuring the resources so what all the resources network server storage application that can be rapidly provisioned and released with a minimal management managing those resources is also very less when we go for the cloud computing 
the definition of the cloud computing according to REEC, we can define the three criteria to discriminate whether a service is delivered in the cloud computing style or not. The service is accessible via web browser or the web service application program that is API that is application program interface. How we can do the cloud computing using APS? where we have in the cloud computing zero capital expenditure is necessary to start any startup using the cloud computing zero capital expenditure we need not to worry about the investment as we are having the resources and we are renting it out we need not to uh, think much about the investment and then what we have is uh, cloud computing architecture. What is the how the cloud computing has been designed? Cloud is not the physical existence. So we don't have any physical architecture for the cloud. It is a assumption what we have in the cloud and how does it work? So cloud computing architecture, we have two uh, parts in the architecture. One is a front end and one is a back end. What is a front end? Front end is a cloud service provider. Uh, himself we, we consider it as an front end and what that provider is doing at the back that is a back end. The architecture of the cloud computing is a combination of both service oriented architecture and event driven architecture. Service oriented means whenever we need the service we can access the service. Whenever we are doing particular event or solving some particular problem we can access the resources. The seven components of the cloud architecture there are different components what we have in the cloud architecture. Client infrastructure, application service, runtime cloud, storage infrastructure, management and the security. These are all the seven types of components what we have in the cloud. So this is how we represent the cloud architecture. This is client infrastructure which is access on a front end. We am using the cloud services do some application that is called as client infrastructure that is a front end how the front end and back end are communicated with the internet without internet we cannot uh, make use of cloud architecture so this is connected with the internet so these are all the seven components one two three four five six and seven components of the cloud what we have application i can run uh, run any type of application on the cloud i can get any type of services from the cloud service provided cloud cloud runtime whenever we are you working on something we can work with the parallel parallelly with the another that is runtime cloud storage we can have a larger storage in the cloud for example you store everything in the google drive rather than storing in the uh, your uh, one device you store it in the drive you can access that drive from anywhere just you need to have your google account that is a storage then infrastructure infrastructure is also can be provided using the cloud by pro to provide all these things we have different services we need to manage that right that is a management also is done by cloud itself no need to worry from the client end and once we are providing all the services data will be on the internet for that they should provide the security it is security is also provided by the cloud client need not to worry about anything just he has to use that applications next what we have is characteristics and benefits what all the characteristics of having the cloud computing cloud computing has some interesting characteristics that brings the benefits to both cloud service customers and the cloud service provider it will bring the benefits for what both customer and then the provider that is to the client and the, as well as the server these characteristics are first what is the first character no upfront commitment we are not taking any resources buying any resources before it is required whenever we are required that time only we are using the resources or renting the resources no upfront commitment only on demand access whenever it is necessary we are accessing it nice pricing since we are not owning the any resources we need not to invest much on some those resources for example you can uh, have 64 gb 128 gb 256 gb right 64 gb is much cheaper compared to 256 gb similarly you need not to buy that okay just whenever you want you can rent it out 
before uh, developing before designing anything you should not keep uh, take and keep it and then simplified application accessibility and uh, scalability efficient resources allocation scalable if uh, you are an uh, entrepreneur you are you want to start your new startup you need not to buy the server the systems for anything the systems can be done by the, your employers whatever the employer will have those system only can use you need not to buy the servers also because you are using it from the cloud okay and if your business grows more you want more resources that time also cloud will provide a uh, uh, more resources when is required that is scalable scalable according to your requirement you can increase the resources or you can decrease the resources energy efficiency just now we have discussed we are uh, initiating the green it how we are initiating by reducing the carbon emission and the power uh, consumption that is energy efficient and a seamless creation and user third party services someone is creating the application someone is deploying that on the cloud and someone is using that is a third party services what we have the most Uh, evident benefit from the user of the cloud computing system and technology is the increased economical return due to the reduced maintenance cost if you want to maintain one server the cost you have to invest is more since the cloud service provider is maintaining and just you are using and you are paying whenever you are using so it will reduce the amount economical returns due to reduced maintenance this is mainly because it assist namely software and the infrastructures are turned into utility cost utility cost means whenever you are using you are paying that so which are paid along with the use not paid for upfront not paid before whenever we are using we are paying that time so characteristics challenges what we have in the cloud computing are new interesting problems and the challenges are regularly being posed to the cloud community including the it practitioners manager government government and the regulators technical challenges also raises a cloud services provider for the management of large computing infrastructure and the use of virtualization techniques on top of them so creating the virtualization or virtual machine is a big headache for the cloud computing and security is also one of the big challenges what we have because all data is stored in the public cloud anyone can access the hacker can easily hack the data and fetch any detail they want so service is one of the major challenge what the cloud is facing now right now next what we have is historical development how this computing will change from one era to another era in starting the sharing resources will be uh, initiated in 1963 by defense advancement research project agency accessing the computer for more than two people simultaneously there where we are using uh, before that we are using the computer for one person one use here the two person can use the computer simultaneously in 1989 JCR and Lickbird developed the AppNet Advanced Research Project Agency network. These two are the scientists. They are the data scientists as well as the they are the statistics as well as the uh, computer scientists who developed the one networking to provide the communication between the different users. Improved version of AppNet and promoted as an uh, integral computer. In 1970s, first virtual machine came into existence. So, in 1970, that is a first virtual machine. Virtual machine means what? Machine physically does not exist, but we feel that it is exist. For example, you can take off your cache memory. When you have a main memory, you have a secondary memory. Both have a physical existence. Cache memory does not have a physical existence. Like that, virtual machine acts. In 1997. Uh, professor ramnath chellappa defined the cloud computing as a new computing paradigm okay that is one of the major uh, head through what we have in the cloud computing then in 1999 salesforce become the first popular example of using cloud computing in 2002 amazon introduces its own cloud in 2010 that is aws azure's open stack these are all developed 
to own the cloud then their own cloud in 2011 ibm started with the i cloud and smart cloud apple started with the i cloud next this is how the history uh, develops in 1950 are uh, having the mainframe computer then 1960 super computer then 1970 that is aponet just now discussed what is aponet and 1980 what we have is a ethernet that is a lan connection providing the connection within the building apnet is providing the connection between the two or three people in 1990s we have a, a grid computing and 2000 we have a ieee and wifi in 2000 we have ieee and uh, wifi in 2010 we have aneka google engine microsoft all this developed after 2010 then building of the cloud computing what we have in the building of the cloud computing environment that is cloud computing provides a solution for on demand and dynamic scaling across the entire stack of computing this is achieved by how it is providing on demand services stack means what this is a stack here you have different type of services we can use different type of services according to our requirement how it is providing by providing the method for renting the computing power storage and then the networking how we want to rent and what we want to rent that is providing the methods for renting and offering the run time environment designed for scalable and dynamic resizing by offering what run time environment one is by providing the renting method second one is by offering the run time environment and by providing the application software by providing the application software we are able to achieve the cloud computing environment next infrastructure and the system development how the infrastructure of the cloud and system has been developed distributed computing first infrastructure that is a client server architecture when we are requesting then only they can uh, give the resources okay uh, distributed uh, computing virtualization and server orientation and web 2 web 2.0 from the core technology enabling the provisioning of cloud services from anywhere on the globe by using these four anywhere on the globe you can access the cloud services developing the application and the system that leverages the cloud required knowledge across this technology and distributed computing is a fundamental model of cloud computing because cloud systems are distributed systems cloud systems are what distributed systems or uh, data is not stored in one centralized system data is distributed among the different servers initial of this session i have told you that what is cloud cloud is a server of servers many servers combined together forming a single server so it is a distributed system business administrative task mostly connected and accessibility of the resources in the cloud nowadays all the businesses are also using the cloud computing so this is a infrastructure infrastructure and the system development some more points will discuss web 2.0 technology constitute the interface through which the cloud computing services are derived managed and provisioned cloud computing is often summarized with the axonyms x what is x x stand for everything everything as a service that clearly underlines the central role of service oriented whatever you ask for everything will be provided as services virtualization in another virtualization is another element that plays a fundamental role in the cloud computing this terminology is core feature of infrastructure used by the cloud provider how we are providing the resources see for example and just give you the glance about what is virtualization i have a system resources I have three system resources i have n number of people who want to access these resources okay uh, he want to access this he want to access this he want to access this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the users this 1 2 3 are the resources 
right these users want to access when we have only limited resources they want to access these resources so one three and four are requesting for the resource one there is only one resources we cannot provide it to three users so what we will do in the middle they'll create some call as virtual machine that what happens this virtual machine makes each user a separate resources it will allocate the separate resources that is what is called virtualization so this is very important when we are having the cloud computing that is a core feature virtualization is what core feature of cloud computing next what we have is advantage and disadvantage of cloud computing as we all know cloud computing is trending technology nowadays almost every company switch their service on the cloud to raise the company growth we are going to discuss some of the important advantage of cloud computing first advantage backup and restore since it is a distributed if the one server gets down you can access your data from the another server so it will be restored very easily as we have a backup and the second point is that improved collaboration what do you mean by collaboration we are collaborating with the many different companies that is improved collaboration cloud communication improves the collaboration by allowing the group of people to quickly and easily share the information so for example you can have your chat gpt quickly and easily it will share the information that is improve the collaboration excellent accessibility whenever wherever what time you want you can access the cloud features that is excellent accessibility cloud allows us to quickly and easily access store the information anywhere anytime in the whole world using the internet connection okay next what we have is low maintenance cost since as a user we are not maintaining any of the resources so low maintenance cost everything will be maintained by whom cloud service provider then mobility mobility means what cloud computing allows us to easily access all the cloud data via mobile anywhere you need not to have sit in the front of desktop computer and you have to go there and how to fetch the data no anywhere you are you can easily access that is called as mobility and then services in the pay per use model how much we are using we are paying for that much only then unlimited storage capacity the store you cannot imagine the storage capacity of the cloud it's very huge because you are combining different servers server will only have a very huge storage capacity when you are combining different servers and forming a single server obviously it will be having more storage capacity then what is the last advantage of uh, cloud computing is data security the whatever the data we have post on the cloud that will be secure they are using different security algorithm to have the secured data data security is one of the biggest advantage of the cloud computing cloud offers many advanced features related to the security and ensure that the data is secured stored and handled next what we have is list of disadvantage of cloud computing internet connectivity when we want to use uh, cloud computing and we want to access anything from the cloud it is must and should that you should have a internet connectivity if your internet is not working you are not doing anything in the cloud then vendor login vendor login means uh, uh, i have told you there are different type of cloud services that is aws amazon uh, microsoft azure and icloud from uh, apple like this different cloud services are there when initially i switched to the aws now i don't want the services from the aws i want to switch to the microsoft it is not so easy to switch from one platform to the another platform that is called as vendor lock in problem the limited control as we are not involved in the infrastructure management nothing we are just using the application we don't have any control over the infrastructure 
okay whatever they provide we have to use that maturely then security obviously if it is a public cloud everything will be publicly available then the security issue will be coming into the picture then the application of cloud computing where all we are using the cloud computing cloud service provider provides the various application in the field of art business data storage backup services education entertainment management and social networking you name it and you have a cloud there so in each and every area every field you have a cloud application let's see one by one art application the cloud computing offers various art application for quickly and easily design the attractive cards that is your it may be your uh, wedding card visiting card business card to develop those card you have a e cards now birthday card also you can design online like that to design everything cards uh, booklets images with the, we have a cloud application one of that uh, application name is mo next business application business applications are based on the cloud service provider today every organization required the cloud business application to grow their business it also ensures the business application for 24 bar 7 available to the users for any business you can have a chatbots nowadays you message them it will reply right that is every business are using the cloud architecture then what we have is example of business application as mailchimp you can mail you can receive the response mail immediately and salesforce salesforce platform provides a tool for sales service marketing e-commerce and more and chatter chatter is nothing but your chatbots whatever you are chatting anytime anywhere you can do that because of cloud then cloud computing allows us to store the information data files images audios videos on the cloud and access this information using the internet connection this is one more area where we can use the cloud computing storage as the cloud provider is responsible providing the security so they offer the various backup recovery application for retrieving the lost data then one more application is education application cloud computing in the education sector becomes very popular it offers the various online distance education platforms and the student information portals now if you go to university everything is also used by the client server university have its own type own database from which uh, the students can access the data that uh, that is done using the cloud infrastructure university don't have its own server it take the server from the cloud and more or online education like you have a coursera uh, ibm uh, certification courses everything that comes under the education application the advantage of using cloud in the field of education is that offers a strong virtual classroom environment uh, you might have uh, encountered this when we had a covid right all thing will be done online using the google meet classrooms something like that so it will provide the easy accessibility storage scalability greater reach to the students and the minimal hardware requirement okay this is a application in the education sector example for those application is google apps for the educations and chromebooks for the education these are some of the application developed by the cloud for the educational purpose and then important entertainment how the cloud is related to the entertainment obviously industry uses the multi cloud strategy to interact with the target audience cloud computing offers the various entertainment applications such as online gaming and video conferences example of that online games and video conferences now everything what we have a dish tvs everything is cloud based okay entertainment means your ott platform best example for the entertainment using the cloud application everything is on the cloud you are using a different ott platforms for entertainment you can watch movie play game online games ott release new series or tvs that serials that comes in the tvs that also be there in the ott like that 
Next, what we have is management application. Cloud computing offers the various cloud management tools which helps the admin to manage all type of the cloud activities such as resource deployment, data integration and disaster recovery. It has to manage what? Data integration, deployment, some new application has been designed that has to be deployed on the cloud that is taken care of by the management tools. These management tools also provides administrative control over the platform applications and then the infrastructure. Some of the management application tools are toggle and then the every node. It will keep reminding us what we have to do at what time once it has been saved. Next what we have is social application. Social cloud computing allows a large number of users to connect with each other using the social networking platforms such as Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. You know much social networking rather than this. So have a good examples of social application. Trends in cloud computing, what all the trends that going on in the cloud computing. Every organization is now working with the cloud. The cloud offers so many benefits to the organization such as a massive storage, backup, recovery, data security, unlimited services and a software solution. Along with these benefits, the services, many cloud computing trends are booming in present time that offers more services to the users and in the business. Some of them trending uh, technologies are top 10 cloud computing trends that are mentioned below. That is artificial intelligence and machine learning. One of the most trending technology that are closed to the cloud computing is artificial intelligence and machine learning because it is very cost effective to do to make machine to learn we need a large amount of data so that amount of the data cannot be stored in the single computer so the, it is making use of cloud computing the major trend will grow in this sector in upcoming years as in a self automation self learning personalized cloud high data security and then the privacy so self learning we can do by using the artificial intelligence and the second trend is that data security if the some data is lost we have a different algorithms different methods to retrieve those data that is because of cloud again this is one more trend what we are doing that is data security and data science security testing will be done thoroughly to detect any loopholes and Patches, high security measures should be taken during the storage and transfer of data. Cloud service provides the secure data with the many security protocols and the data encryption algorithms that what we are using different algorithm and methods to have a secure data. Next, the user of multi-cloud and hybrid cloud solution is that is multi-cloud and different clouds forming together or multi-cloud and hybrid cloud means there are different types of cloud private public protected like that combining private and public we forms the a hybrid cloud the many organization like bank insurance companies some of the data is very uh, crucial uh, very confident so to have such type of data they go for the private cloud which is not very confident they will put it in the public cloud so combination of private and the public will contribute the hybrid cloud no code cloud solution low code means we need not to type a coding nowadays you can build the website using a drag and drop option just you need to drag that particular icon and you have to write some buttons on that that's it your website will be ready like that no low code and no code okay code which are you writing is very less for example you can take compare python and the c how much code we are writing to add two numbers in the c and how much code we are writing in the python to add two numbers that is just in the python is two plus three that's all in the c int a int b int c c is equal to a plus b print the result like this the code is very less and eh, in the cloud computing because every application has been designed such a way that we can directly use that next edge computing we have already discussed edge computing how it is working by on the real time by sharing the resources this is also having the trend using the cloud computing application then what we have is iot iot means uh, it is used basically in the medical field to have a sensors to read the sensors data 
okay this internet of things is a trend that is being popular day by day it involves the use of many sensors that generate huge amount of data which is stored in the cloud server each every minute detail of the patient will be stored in the iot when it senses using the sensors okay that is about iot kuberan and docus recos online digital uh, locus you might have heard these are some of the applications that they are using the cloud uh, implementations and then serverless architecture or computing they say it is a serverless but server will be there since it is a combination of many servers you don't know in the fraction of second you are getting the responses so it is called as serverless okay then and dive scopes cloud computing provides some many benefits uh, to its customer in managing their data but along with that many security issues are sometimes faced by the user risk involved in the network innovation denial of services attacks issues virtualization unauthorized use of data etc will be handled by devs that's device scopes okay this all about the cloud computing thank you